Portugal, a truly breathtaking and wild land. When we first set out to test the trucks that will next take us to Australia, we had no doubt about where we needed to go. Found on the precipice of the European continent, with the vast and dangerous Atlantic Ocean to the west, and the calmer yet pristinely natural Mediterranean to the south, Portugal stands out as an unspoilt and relatively uninhabited jewel of Europe's crown. We set out with one goal in mind, to travel the length of the country and test our equipment to the absolute limit. What's the problem? So, going over big bumps, everything just cuts out very briefly, and then comes back right. on, ABS light comes on. I don't know if it's... Ground. Got to be a ground somehow, isn't it? Let's see what that is. Let's see exactly what it is. Is that air conditioning line? Well, yeah, I just taped it to it. So, that's all. To be fair, this road, this last bit has been really bumpy. It's corrugated. Like, it was well. really shaking through the car. Did they teach you how to do it with the gaffer tape in your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this is lesson first, one. Yeah. Lesson one. <laughs> no, this is actually advanced, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is advanced <laughs> bodging. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, this is like revision. Well, this is bush repair. Because you've got a, no, you've got an exam on this soon. So. On that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Specifically that. Maybe a bit What are you? Uh, an electronic engineer? No, I don't do electronics. You're You're an right. engineer. I do a degree in electronics. He does a degree in electronics. <laughs> and this is how the guy is wired up. <laughs> Perfect. So Alistair, it's your first time off-roading. What do you think about it? Oh, it is so much fun. I mean, still a little bit nervous in places because um, I don't really want to wreck Carlos on my first time out. But um, yeah, no. please don't. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, really, really enjoying it. Like, and it's been such an amazing different like terrain. It's been so varied, like so many different like. Um, Feels like in one minute you're in some in Africa somewhere, and next bit in Australia, and next bit you're back in England. It's been crazy how like the um, sort of terrain has changed, so like every few kilometres and the different kinds of tracks. Like yeah, no, really enjoyed it so far. Good. What are we doing in Evora? Well, I illegally parked my car in a residential zone and leaving it. 
in the middle of a 14th century city that we just drove around that is objectively about one centimetre wider than our car on every single road that we are on. Um, so getting out will be interesting, which is mainly what I'm thinking about rather than looking at the quite nice cathedral that we're walking around. Yes. And it's also quite cold. And, well, it's not cold. It's like kind of hot but rainy. So, uh, it's not great, really. It's, all right. it's, it's better it's to be pretty, in a city. It's a pretty place, though. Yes. Not as pretty as Salamanca. Forbidden entrance of animals. That sounds like a cool door. Sorry? It's a forbidden entrance of animals. What's that? A cool door. Like, what do you mean? The forbidden entrance of animals. <laughs> what does that it's like do? a door where animals, it's like named after this <laughs> forbidden entrance. Alistair? Do you like it? Do you want your house to be like this? Not quite my taste. No? Yeah. Nice bedroom made with bones? It's a bit gothic, isn't it? Like, you've got to be a certain kind of guy to be like, I'm going to make my house up. Like, I mean, I say that. Imagine this is your birth bedroom. Like, you I'm into it. Good. It's exactly my style. I think mean, it's going to make an impression on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the, my bedroom out of all the bones of my ex lovers. It was time to get back on the road again, driving through a country where off-road driving is just part of everyday life. The landscape changes were almost limitless, from wide open plains to dewy forests and even jungle. While we have huge plans, this trip was the first time properly wild camping for some of the crew. So when it came to bed down for the night, it wasn't all smooth sailing. It said on the website it goes up in 90 seconds. I mean, I'm sure once you've done it a few times, it probably has. <laughs> Remember the first time we put our tent together and it took us like a half an hour? Yeah. Because we didn't understand how to do it properly. Wait, what? And I was like, it's no, awful, I don't want it anymore. Clips. Yeah, I know that. Oh, is there a short one? This is just the short end, I guess. That's for the feet. Surely your one is the middle one. Yeah, I guess. Because it's, yeah, it's much bigger in the middle. Well, check if the biggest one is definitely on the foot, uh, the head end. Maybe I put the wrong one on. That yeah, doesn't look quite right. Yeah, well, those two are short, right? These are the ones that go in between. Yes, but that wasn't the question. That has to go through, That's yeah, exactly. Actually. What Adam's doing, that looks right. Guess he didn't do that. But you're still using the long one, no? Wait, but I don't. One of them. But those two straight ones are for the middle. No, no, look, there's another bent one there. The straight that's ones? The, small one. the no straight one ones go the length of it. But that's yeah, you're not right, that's longer. Yeah, you're, you're right. The small one, I think, yeah, goes on the that end. There. Yeah, you're right. And the biggest one there, and then the middle one in the middle. Just, Aaron, make sure that that one's, like, bigger. This one looks the biggest. Yeah. yeah. We're working together, Snork. There you go, you get that bit. Congrats. <laughs> Where's this going? In the middle. Mad Combry! <laughs> nice. How was your night's sleep, Alistair? Eh! <laughs> First time ever in a sag? What, in a, in a tent? No, in a, in a, uh, what are they even called? Swag. 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 Um, yeah, obviously, first time in a swag. So, no. The only issue with it is obviously when you're lying down, and especially it's quite a big guy, it gets quite a, uh, sort of bend to it. So you kind of just get stuck in the middle and it's really tough to like turn around so you kind of wake up every What, sort of like, like that? Yeah, exactly. So, like you can even just see with the swag it, like how much of a, mm. it dips in. So, um, 
Yeah. I mean, I think if you can get a really nice, flat, clean site, like I don't think it's probably a bad idea to just put it on the ground. But like I said today, then it gets muddy and shit. Ugh, no. mm. So what? Yeah. yeah. You're stealing well, I mean, that. To be fair, we went to bed pretty early, so I think well, I was in bed by about 10.30, slept through till 3.30. That's not a bad thing. That's not <laughs> terrible. <laughs> A proper sleep or disturbed sleep? Well, I woke up every time I needed to turn, but I pretty much instantly went back to sleep afterwards. So yeah. I don't know if I had the deepest of sleeps. But... So you'll be swapping with Aaron tonight then, I guess? No, no, no I'll sleep with Aaron in the swag. It's fine, really sure. Aaron's unimpressed face. A bit of sleep <laughs> deprived. <laughs> a bit like four days home, we were staying in a f***ing hotel, mate. Aren't <laughs> After days on the road, we'd finally made it to the ocean. And here we found a surface that we had not yet conquered with our cars, sand. House of St Vincent, which lies on the cliffs in the far bottom corner of Portugal. Where are we guys? I don't actually know, we're by a lighthouse <laughs> at the end of the trip. We're at, we're at the absolute tip of um, It is very blowy. Um, we're getting the full uh, Atlantic wind here. Um, yeah, and we've just finished our full trip. Um, down Portugal off road. Um, so we've got right from the top uh, north corner uh, all the way down to this sort of southwest point. And his car survived. Yeah, Alan survived. Alan survived. Alan survived somehow. We've got the tyres out of the nicely off road for a bit. It's going to be lovely, smooth roads rather than. <laughs> so the last bit was potentially the worst part. <laughs> worst as in like you hated it or the bumpiest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bumpiest of the worst road <laughs> we've seen the capability of cars. Cars. And Alan. And Peasant! You know. With a name like Alan, what can you expect out of him to be honest? He's just a lumbery old fellow. Exactly. So do I. I would say he's had he's had less problems than Carlos. He's got stuck less times than Carlos. Where does Carlos get stuck? in the sand? Where? Yeah, exactly. It's an absolute monster. Yeah, <laughs> the whole fucking bit of sand. It's impossible to make us in Brayton. I don't know. Like Carlos, I will give you is 
in his transmission. Oh, you know? oh. I'm gonna fix the transmission. Bigger radiator, new fluid. I'm gonna get a new nylon nap. Yes, my name thank you. New nylon nap for the drop link, which keeps it loose. I'm going to what's we gonna do? So do rewire we the uh um, rewire the something. I'm going to but yeah, we've got to fix the air conditioning. I mean, the air conditioning is working lovely. It's super cold, but, but we can see the uh, fluid leaking out. Yeah. Fluid leaking out, which isn't great. So By the time you're about to get to the environment like this, yeah, exactly. Yeah. What, once you get to about Iran, it'll probably have all come out, which is about exactly yeah, when you went there. Yeah. That's really why I'm going to fix it. Uh, uh, otherwise, pretty good. Yeah, that's fine.